Welcome back. My next guest is John Thomas here to talk about the International uh, Black Summit. Thanks so much for coming in, John. Thank you for having us. Okay, let's talk about the Summit Conference and how long it's been running. The International Black Summit was first held in October of 1991. Oh, wow. So this makes our 33rd annual summit event. So we're somewhere in the world uh, every year, except for the last three years. We were We've done it uh, virtually. Uh, virtually. Okay, nice. Tell me about what the summit entails. The summit is a conversation given by life through people of black African descent, mm -hmm. right? So the purpose is to provide an opportunity for participants to bring into being their vision for the black community in the world. And as I was listening to the other guests, like they got their commitments, their vision, mm -hmm. they're manifesting their vision in reality. So we work with people in that space, you know, kind of help them get out of their own way, given what it is that they see for themselves or what they're up to. So this is a multi-locational event? This one is. Okay. This is the first time. Like before we were in Detroit, mm -hmm. just going back, uh, and then before Detroit, Washington, and then before Washington, Ferguson, before that, I want to say we was out of the country, Belize. Oh, wow. Right, so we've been to Kenya, we've been to Nigeria, we've been to London. Every year, somewhere, Different. we have the annual summit event. But this year, we're virtual. Okay. And in, in Buffalo. Okay. And in Antigua, West Indies. Oh, wow. So there's a group of us uh -huh. in Antigua. Uh -huh. It might even be someone like me on the radio show or television show in Antigua right now. And, and so I take it that you've been part of this Black Summit for many years. What does it mean to you? Um, it's an opportunity for me to kind of give back, for me to have an impact on the black community mm -hmm. and the world. I mean, while I'm doing whatever I'm doing locally, I get to work with a group of people from all over the world who are got commitments to the black community or, or people of black African descent. So it just gives me an opportunity to expand what my vision is, especially when it talks about um, transformation. Right. Considering this has been all over the country and all over the world, I take it it's a big deal that we have the honor of having it in Buffalo this year. Well, I love it that you call it a big deal, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the honor, It's huh? quite the honor. Uh, and, you know, we're kind of guided through spirit so something called us here. Mm -hmm. That's how we operate. We, you know, we look for where the next location's gonna be, and this is what showed up. Okay. Like, what we heard, not religious, but what we heard in the energy was Buffalo. Okay. What we heard was Antigua, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so we're here, and we're here to s discover what Buffalo wants to add to this conversation of the transforming the lives of people of black African descent. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Let's talk more about the conversations that we're, you're expecting to have and what people are going to be seeing and experiencing at the summit this year. Um, it's a lot easier to actually do it. We've been doing it on a podcast. We actually engage with the host, but it's, it's experiential. Okay. Right, so we might start with talking about one of our tools, a distinction, like a distinction like trigger, mm -hmm. right? And as we're explaining trigger, sharing about it, people begin to see certain aspects of their life. They begin to see how certain things are using them, like, well, they're in, the thing is in control, they're not in control. Mm. And as they explore that, they see themselves they see themselves in others. Right. They see things they didn't see before. So, if, for example, if there's a daughter that's not talking to her mom, we're not having a conversation with her about, you need to talk to your mama. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that. Mm -hmm. But we're going through this work. We're going through this exercise. And she sees maybe someone who reminds her of a mom. She sees where she's triggered by something. Mm -hmm. She sees how that's stopping her from having a relationship that she want to have. Right, and in the inquiry of that, the discovery of that, you know, she finds herself in action, you know, to heal that relationship. So when I say it's transformational, it really is 
transformational. Okay. Uh, this is happening August 3rd. Um, do people need tickets or do they need to register? How does that work? What's the day? Today is August 2nd. The 2nd, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thursday night, right? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night <laughs> at the uh, Marriott okay. downtown, mm -hmm. we will be having our opening ceremony. That's free. Mm -hmm. You know, people can participate virtually. They can participate in Buffalo. And, they, of course, they can participate anywhere around the world. Um, that's free. Okay. And then if they're so inclined and they hadn't already registered, because we're, we're on the radio, too, here. Uh, if they hadn't already registered, they can register for the annual summit event. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Okay, viewers, again, if you are interested in going to the 33rd International Black Summit event, it begins tomorrow, Thursday, August 3rd, and runs through Sunday at the Buffalo Downtown Marriott. To register, go to blacksummit.org slash... ASE. ASE. Or call 212 Five six one zero three two five. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you.